In this video, we will solve a problem on production function. This question was asked by a brother on Telegram channel of Econ Maths. The question is, a firm's short-run production function is being given by, that is, Q is equal to L square e to the power minus 0.01 L. Q is our output. L denotes the units of labor. E is our exponential function. And, you know, L is the units of labor. We have to find out the value of labor that maximizes the average product of labor and also we have to check the second order condition for maximum okay so uh, this question will uh, you know be solved in this fashion let us write first what is our production function that is q is equal to l square e to the power minus 0.01 l this is our uh, production function now what is average product of labor average product of labor as you know is simply our total output but this if we divide by labor we will get average product of labor that is l square e to the power minus 0.01 l to this we divide by l so we will get average product of labor is uh, l 1 l will get cancelled so we have e to the power minus 0.01 l this is our average product of labor okay now we need to find out the value of labor that maximizes this average product of labor and graphically what exactly does this mean so let me draw a small graph here let us say we have units of labor on the horizontal axis this is our average product of labor on on this axis okay now if we have the graph of this will look like this so this will be the graph we need to find out a point where our average product of labor is maximum maximum okay at what units of labor will be our apl maximum so we need to find out the maximum point here so uh, uh, first order condition for you know maximum requires that the slope of this average product of labor should be equal to zero and mathematically what we need to find out we need to find out the derivative of average product of labor with respect to out uh, with respect to labor it should be equal to zero okay so to find the maximum uh, you know maximum of this apl curve we take the derivative of this apl and set it equal to zero the point where it is slope is equal to zero will be obviously the maximum point okay so the slope will be here at this point let us say it is maximum so we need to find out this point here okay so uh, that means we need to differentiate this function with respect to l here you can see we have two functions we have l and e exponential function okay l is one function this e to the power minus 0.01 l is another function so we cannot use the power function rule we have to apply the product rule okay let us say uh, this l is u and let us say this is v okay product rule simply tells us let us say let me write it here uh, or let's uh, try to mm, find out the mm, product rule here so that means d a p l upon d l will be equal to first we write the first function that is u and take derivative of second function that means d v upon d l plus we write the second function v and take derivative of first function that means d u upon dl okay so what we need to find out here so first that means our u is equal to so our u is uh, you know l okay dv upon dl means taking derivative of second function let us write it d upon dl of e to the power minus 0.01 l Plus, we write the second function as it is, that is e to the power minus 0.01 L and take the derivative of first function, that is d upon d 
L of L and we set it equal to zero as I told you. So we set it equal to zero. Taking derivative minus so L as it is. Now what is the derivative of e to the power minus 0.01 L? Simple thing the derivative of an exponential function is being given us. If we have e to the power let us say mx if we want to find out the derivative with respect to x so derivative will be simply this m will become the coefficient and this function will remain same as it is e to the power mx okay and here we have uh, e to the power minus 0.01 l so the derivative will be simply we have this coefficient that is minus 0.01 l and e to the power minus 0.01 l okay this will remain same this is the uh, rule so here derivative of this function will be minus 0.01 l e to the power minus 0.01 l plus we have this e to the power minus 0.01 l the derivative of this with respect to l it will be 1 and we set it equal to 0 okay I hope I am making myself clear now let us see if we can factor uh, something out here if I take this e to the power minus 0 0.01 common let us say e to the power minus 0 0.01 L if I take it common here and here so I will be uh, left with if I write this function first it will be 1 minus 0.01 L and this should be equal to 0 okay now the thing is here uh, we know that this exponential function when we have a negative exponential function in this case it will never be equal to 0 here it implies either this function is equal to 0 or this function is equal to 0 can this e to the power minus 0 0.01 l should uh, will be equal to 0 no it can be never equal to 0 although this e to the power minus 0 0.01 gets closer and closer uh, to 0 as the value of labor increases but it never actually you know equals to 0 okay so if we have e to the power minus 0 0.01 l i can write it in this fashion 1 upon e to the power 0.01 l and you know uh, e is equal to 2.71 it is an irrational number okay so let me write i am able to re remember the only two decimals so we have 0.01 l if this l gets you know larger and larger so this number will become larger so we have 1 divided by a large denominator it will approach to 0 but it will not be equal to 0 okay so we have 1 divided by a big number okay big number it will approach to 0 but it will not be equal to 0 okay for finite values of l okay if we take the finite values of l that means if we if we take thousand ten thousand okay in place of this will not approach this will not be equal to 0 by this what we mean we mean this function cannot be equal to 0 for large number of for finite values of labor so that means then this should be equal to 0 either this is equal to 0 this cannot be equal to 0 for finite values of l that means this 1 minus 0 0.01 should be equal to 0 okay and let me write it here that means uh, that implies 1 minus 0 0.01 l i don't need to take the parenthesis here okay that means this should be equal to 0 which gives us 0 0.01 l should be equal to 1 or l is equal to 1 upon 0 0.01 and this will have you know this is 10th hundredth so it will become 1 upon 1 upon 100 so i will get a number which is equal to l so l is equal to 100 will be our solution that means the value of labor where our labor sorry where our average product of labor is maximized it is at when we employ 100 units of labor okay now this was actually the first order condition for maximum second order condition for maximum requires 
so the first part is clear that means the value of labor that maximizes our apl is 100 units of labor now to check second order condition uh, you know to ensure we have actually reached a maximum we need to check the second order condition okay so second order condition will be the derivative of that is let me write it here the second derivative of average product of labor with respect to labor should be less than zero okay first order condition has been satisfied that we reach it to the maximum point now to check whether we are at maximum or not we should have the second derivative less than zero at this critical point okay so second derivative is used to check uh, when we reach it uh, to the maximum and after that the graph should be decreasing okay that means the slope of the slope what we call should be negative okay for that we use the second order condition so what is our average product of labor this is the first derivative which we got here this is the first derivative okay so d square apl or dl square minus that minus that we need to take the second derivative of this derivative okay so this is the first derivative now second derivative will be to take the derivative of first derivative again let us say this is u this is v using the product rule again here and then that may mean is i don't have you know the infinite space here so let me write it here in this fashion so we use the product rule we take this uh, you know derivative of this function again that will be our second derivative so first we write the first function as it is that is e to the power minus 0 0.01 l and take derivative of second function derivative of this function derivative of uh, l is 1 so we are left with minus 0 0.01 okay i am using this very uh, you know uh, thing here plus we write the second function as it is so second function is this 1 minus 0 0.01 l 1 minus 0 0.01 l and we take the derivative of first function so derivative of this will be so i will write it here so it will be minus 0 point or let me write it here uh, minus 0 0.01 e to the power this minus 0 0.01 l okay so this is multiplied to this function and we need to actually evaluate it at l is equal to 100 okay so we can do one thing here if i take e to the power uh, e to the power minus 0 0.01 l common i will be left with this minus 0 0.01 okay then we have plus this 0 0.01 will get multiplied so this will be again uh, minus 0 0.01 then minus into minus is plus we will get 0 0.01 l okay and we need to evaluate it at l is equal to 100 so again we have e to the power minus 0 0.01 l so this will become minus 0 0.02 plus 0 0.01 l so give l is equal to 100 so if l is equal to 100 we will in place of l we have 100 okay so let us cut it short here so here we have 100 here again we have 100 so this will become this will reduce to e to the power minus 1 okay 0 0.01 into 100 it will be uh, this e to the power minus 1 and here uh, 100 into 0 0.01 okay so one thing i have done wrong here is that we have 0 0.01 into 0 0.01 so this will become uh, 0 
zero 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 one L. Okay, so uh, zero point zero 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 one into hundred. Let me write it here. We have zero point zero two first plus zero point zero zero one into hundred. It will become uh, zero point zero one. Okay. Uh, now e to the power minus one it can be written in this fashion that is one upon e this will uh, this will reduce to minus 0 0.01 so this gives us i don't have the space here so why should i write it one upon e is equal to so let me check if i have the space okay let me write it here so 1 upon e means 1 upon 2.71 and something else okay 1 upon e or, or let me write it simply it will come out to be 0 0.3678 okay to this we multiply 0 0.01 that's negative number this minus 0 0.01 multiplying this we will get uh, minus 0 0.037 which is less than 0 that means the second derivative when evaluated at l is equal to 100 it came out to be minus 0 point uh, i am not uh, you know clearly able to see whether it is but it will be a negative number okay so we got minus 0 0.037 which is less than zero so second order condition for maximum has been satisfied so first order condition was used to find out the maximum point and second order condition was you know used to ensure whether we have reached the maximum or not now if the second order derivative comes out to be negative we reach to the maximum okay so i hope i make myself clear in this video thank you